Yo peeps, my name is Smashing Mike. I with my boy Craig and he's here to interview me and this is appreciate him taking his time here. So let's do this. Just putting out there that I've only just gone in from work. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're in a car, because it's so late. And he had training, how did the training go? It was good my man. Just being the usual, just graphing that out as usual. So uh, but I stayed an extra hour to do like a private session. So I did instead of two hours, it was a three hour training today. Oh, that's right, because when you said you're finishing at 9, so I thought that was a bit late. Oh, normally it's... actually it's... good for me, though, 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> normally it's between 7 to 9 on a Thursday, but I, I did a private one today, so we did 6 till 9. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. But how's training going with uh, Hustle? All right, listen, they have welcomed me in open arms. And think about this. Three weeks ago, last year, around that time, that's when I started Hustle. Yeah? Oh. So it's been literally one that year. That's the next question. <laughs> how long have you been there? <laughs> like literally one year, this is one year and three weeks now. Is how long training has gone? Like fully full training with full them. training, including so you being... start day one. Yes, oh, that's good. Because I think I remember Chloe went to your I think your first show. The one in the third year. Yeah, the third year from March. She told me you was there. Yeah. So I think what what show did I meet you at? Um, um, it was uh, was it Wrestle League? Was it? I know it was, was it Wrestle League. Yeah, from Green Yeah, was it Wrestle League though? Yeah. Um. Just letting you know, guys, I was drunk that night. <laughs> <laughs> Every wrestling show I'm at. <laughs> well, you're having fun, man. I think the three for ten was the uh, deal that kept me going. At <laughs> 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 one stage, I, was, I gave it to Chloe, or I think it was Jordan was there. Was it Jordan? Jo yeah, Jordan was I there. I gave him one bottle, and I went to the bar and got another three. Drank two of them at the bar. Before I came back, <laughs> you are mad, my man. And I was only gone for five minutes. <laughs> ah, my days. But yeah, I was. Um, I think Gabriel Kid was it your last match? Yeah, it was. Oh, big fan of Gabriel Kid. Um, what was the first show? I think it might have been Defiant. They're shut down. They're closing out Defiant. Yeah. Uh, that was the first show I see him at live. I've seen him at other shows like on YouTube and all that. But yeah, then I see him at Hustle's first two shows I went to. And I'm sure he was at the one in Hybrid Nizinton as well. Yeah, he was. He was a pit, he was a bulldog guy. Oh, did he wrestle? No, he wasn't. It? Was it Samuel? Samuel. And there was oh, a woman. Samuel's, yeah, that was And it. one woman in the crowd threw a beer at him, remember? That was him. <laughs> that same, there's, remember that woman? She was in a, apparently was blind. Oh, yeah, that was the same woman that threw a beer at him. She did a cartwheel. Yeah. But apparently that weren't set up, and then she still tried to, yeah, with her crutches. <laughs> Did not make sense to me. <laughs> I don't know, but it was it was entertaining. It was it was. I just remember me just watching this, and then I thought it was a setup. Simon said it wasn't. <laughs> Could see him walking in her crutches afterwards. So I was like, she did wow. she re-injure herself there? <laughs> wow. Because I remember that show was actually good. Because I remember Joseph Connors come out as a vampire. With uh, the Brood theme song, which was a big highlight for me because that was one of my childhood favourite theme songs. Still oh, is. okay, you say that Still more. is. Still is that one. But yeah, um, I think I asked you this question before, but who's your dream opponent? Well, to wrestle now or of all time? Wrestle now and all time. All right, bro, I've got a list. And I, said, and I put an in, um, Instagram recently Tate Mayfair. I love that guy. Oh, he he that needs to be signed. It. Yes, definitely. Watch out. Tate Mayfair is the future. Uh, Link uh, Tate, in the description. Yes. Tate Mayfair. Another guy called Kyle Reese. He's based... He lives around the... He lives around North London, but he's all over. He's freelancer. He goes to okay. every gym. He's a cool guy. I met him before. Because think about how I met him. On my debut, the next day, I had another debut at UBW in the Battle Royal. Oh, okay. And I was doing a ring seminar semis, seminar with uh, Joey Storm and his partner. Right. So I, that's how I met that guy. And we've been called cool since him. Ru Rudy Ryan, talent. Rudy oh, Ryan. So if I say those three. Them three? Yes. Those three. And also Carla, because he's my favourite wrestler of all time. <laughs> oh, Why <Carla>. not? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if you want to be great, you have to look up to the greats. I think someone asked me this randomly once, who was your dream opponent being? I said D'Lo Brown. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> went, why? I went, his theme song. Just watch him shake his head towards the ring and then 
you'll just fuck him up. Because <laughs> like, who's this nutter coming towards you? <laughs> Listen, he was sick. Because I remember Dino Brown and Mark Henry used to like that as when they teamed. Oh, yeah. Post, uh, I think after Nation of Domination, they teamed for a while. Right, around 90... I think late 98 or 90. Because I remember he won the European title and the Intercontinental title. Simultaneously. Well, both of them. Yeah. Because I was actually just watching something about him the other day. Oh, those <laughs> but I'm a big fan of Dino Brown. He had the good splash. Fan. Yeah. One of the best. <laughs> yeah. I can't lie. Can't lie. So what's your next event you've got booked? Uh, 29th. Of September next month, UBW. That's another one that's going to be confirmed soon. Well, that's not too bad, then. Yeah. What about Hustle? They got any more events? Um, not at the present moment. What we're doing next week, we're doing something called Skull Crushers. Is like um, we do we do review. Mm -hmm. We do give us feedback. So Johnny, as you know, says Scala, we'll grab all the wrestlers there, put, do it together, and you'll watch them all the, and watch all the event. As you know, I was I was first that day, so it makes it even better. So my okay. I'll get the feedback, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't wait for this because I am very as myself, I'm happy with my performance with Gable Kid. Now I said, um, Chloe said you had a great match, so I went. I'm looking forward. To, next hustle event, I'm definitely going to. And and I'm gonna steal the show like this one, like the last one, again, <laughs> again, <laughs> <laughs> like Dolph Ziggler used to do back in the day. <laughs> and another thing, I will burn out the crowd again. <laughs> I have the loudest ovation again. <laughs> I remember Shah Samuel's first event at Hustle. He just got booed, and there was me only one cheering him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, hey, everyone just looked at me. <laughs> when was this one? Because I started, as you know, I that started. That was Hustle. last year. That might have been, was it January or February last year? It must have been, actually, I don't even know because I started it must in be, August. Yeah, it was last year, January, it must have been. Because I went to a few, a few events that year. went loads. I think the start of the year went loads of events. <laughs> oh, around London? Yeah. Cool. I think the... What was the first, I can't remember the first one I went to was IPW. I can't remember where, how far that was though, but that's the first one I went to. That's cool. Most of them I just do with ones around, around London normally. I think Bethel Green is uh, my main most one. Common so I always go to Bethel Green. I think Ring of Honor was a good event when I went there. The one in your call? Yes. Wow, there's, I think that uh, was that was it last year or the year before. I stood on the um, stood on the chair again. Uh, every all call event, they do calls lights there. <laughs> I just filled a load of bottles. <laughs> I started standing and chanting a load of shit. <laughs> your calls are nice. The amount of pictures man. I got that night, Cody Rhodes when he's talking about the event, I think just noticed a drunk person <laughs> just heading towards him. We went, yeah. <laughs> oh, I agree. Your call is a great venue, man. The atmosphere is mad. Who did I meet? I met someone, um, was it Otimo Guerrero? Oh, legendary wrestler. I met him in the, ah, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, not the off license. That's opposite. There's a shop there. Petrol garage. That was it. He was buying, Oh, the shell garage. He was buying Cause Light, and I had a picture of him. <laughs> I went up approving this bit. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, uh, because I remember Cheeseburger actually liked that and retweeted that and commented on it. Cheeseburger from um, Ring of Honor. What do you see? Mainly about the jacket the guy was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> and his tag partner was like in the background. I was thinking he's heading. <laughs> oh, my days. That's just mad. Oh, uh, but I said, um, oh, what was um, the plan this year for you? Personally, for me, plan. as you know, I've only been doing it for a year. I just want to continue perfect working on my craft, character, and just have more matches. I want to be busy. So NXT UK in the future? Personally. <laughs> or main I, show? I love, I love Japan. <laughs> New Japan, Japan in the future? I love that. That's just I do like New my, Japan. I respect NXT. If I get the opportunity to, um, if I get offered to do that, I'll take it. But New Japan's the goal. Because I'm at my, Shah Samuels. NXT, I'm sure he made his debut not long ago. BT Gun, again, one my favourite. BT Gun and Charles Samuels are in my top two. Yeah. Debuted for, but on the like, dark show, like, they both did. So I went, that's a big step for me because I wanted to see them in NXT for ages. Nice. Still BT Gun, the only person to fight for a WWE title and a TNA title in a week. <laughs> I think it was a week or two weeks. He fought Pete Dunne, Wolfgang, and... Trent Seven at ICW, and then for Cody Rhodes the following week when he was was he world champ or the King of the Mountain champ whatever they called it then 
in the impact. Yeah, they had a title. Moose had it a few times. Oh, you King of the Mountain thing. Was it, was it King of Mountain? Yeah, no, one? no, it was a King of Mountain. Oh. It was like a big title, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 it was a big title. Oh, I forgot the name of it. It's going to annoy me. Because they got rid of it. But um, yeah, that was, he fought for that. I'm sure it was that title. I'd have to research that. As I said, five minutes. All right, back again. Let's go. So, um, I said I have to research about the BT gun. I'm sure and whatever that title was called because I cannot remember. <laughs> I remember what the title was like. I just forgot the name of it. It's God, just I just remember me. Moose holding it. Yes. And it was like it went for like three rounds, wasn't it? Yes, it was three rounds. I just forgot the name of it. Oh, no, it, was... King, it wasn't the King of the Mountain. It was something like that. Yes. It was. Oh. Yeah, we, I'll search it. I'll mess you later and go. It was something totally different. <laughs> But um, yeah, I was thinking, what theme song are you using at the minute? What song oh. are you using your song at the minute? Papoose, top of my game. He's one of my favourite yeah. rappers. As you know, I'm a big boxing fan and wrestling fan. And that song... And Boys in the Hood fan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that song talks about that as well. well. I've got a suggestion for... Remember John Cena, that song, Bad Bad Man? Have that as a <laughs> oh that my as an days. entrance music. <laughs> People are like, who's singing this? <laughs> I'm sure I've heard. Is it John Cena? <laughs> I can't. That that song used to. That was childhood memories. That was a. Uh, I was a. Uh, how was yeah, I used to like that song when I was twelve years old. Oh, twelve years old. I was when that came. What was that two thousand five? Five two thousand five. Because this is around WrestleMania when he won the title. Eleven. I'll be about eleven. Eleven twelve again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I remember that. Well, I remember because I downloaded the other one. I went, I'm sure he had another song that I liked. And I went, oh, yeah, I did use it like that. No, there's it? another one. Ain't No Tomorrow. That's a tune. He, 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 someone got featured in it. It ain't Wiz Khalifa. The Wiz Khalifa's in one with John Cena. Yeah. Well, that was on uh, 2K15. Yeah. Remember that was on but the But there's game. another one. Ain't No Tomorrow. I think it's one of his friends. That was a tune. Uh, was that on the album? Yeah, it was one? in the album. It was in the album. I actually need to check how much they actually sold that album. <laughs> So bad. I remember my aunt bought that. <laughs> that was so bad, man. Because I remember, obviously, at that time, everyone's a big John Cena fan. He's got a spinning belt. Bring the album out. He'd done that rock battle with Chris Jericho, didn't he? <laughs> well, yeah, I said, um, I think about three minutes, two, three minutes. But um, I said, you've seen some of my videos. Obviously, you ain't seen the sex bot videos yet, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> Don't watch part one. The other three are quite good. <laughs> I do mention uh, Storm Animal a lot and my cousin Aaron. I'll leave Aaron's name. Don't follow Storm. <laughs> He's an old man. <laughs> oh, but nice. yeah, the Storm Animal is hilarious. Like, we have like back and forth. He's from Plymouth. So we always back when we're playing the game. There's always me and him together on the team. And we just like, constantly rip into whoever we're facing against. <laughs> and it's just, so there you go. <laughs> oh, my days. That's but I said, um, shout out all your social stuff. Smashing Mike, Instagram, Smashing Mike, underscore S1 on Twitter. You still use that? <laughs> what? The Twitter one. <laughs> so on and off, you know what it is? I remember I followed you and you just don't use it. <laughs> I do you know what it is. I'll leave I the follow, links in the description, uh, yeah. don't worry. <laughs> I, just, I just prefer Instagram. It's just easier for me. It's just for me. Just hot. It's just like... I used to use Instagram more than Twitter. Now I use Twitter more than Instagram. I, and I, then now... Well, I do tweet now and again because I've got an adults on Fortnite yeah, Twitter yeah, yeah. account. I only use to tweet my own stuff. <laughs> I just prefer Instagram. That's just for uh, me. Facebook, I'm on. Like everyone, don't add me on Facebook. But <laughs> you know, obviously, I leave my Twitter and all my Instagram in there. Again, don't. <laughs> Not Facebook, mate. <laughs> I'm more of an Instagram. You can PS4 guy. me if you want, but yeah, you won't. Don't all get added because I've got loads the other day. <laughs> oh my days! Because that sex what video, people keep adding me. I did have a nice tweet, one from the other day, saying I deserve more subs than what I have. Because that's got 35k views. And I made that as a joke, thinking when it started, it only had 200. And then about, was it about five months, three months ago, it went up, went, oh, I've got 5k, like 2.5k on there, that's all right. Then it went up, 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 and that's on 35k. <laughs> wow. My part two is on 5.2, and part three, um, part four is only on 400. But I said a lot of people like them. And the Lionheart tribute as well. Like rest in peace, Lionheart. A lot of people did like that. Appreciate that. But yeah, um, as I said, um, 
you shout out your next event? Have is there a link I could put in there for that? Uh, not at the present moment, my bro. I don't think so. But always remember that day. That's a Sunday, 29th of September. And you'll be, as you know, when the Smash Run wrestles, you'll be entertained. And that's it. And my next video will be out probably about two weeks. <laughs> probably, and then I'll have a month off normally. <laughs> <laughs> I do try live stream, but I'm so busy. As I said, the first thing you asked me when I was here was, am I cold? <laughs> like, yeah, man. At, look what I'm, <laughs> I'm cold. I right, said so we're gonna close off now because I'm in shorts and I've got to go and have a shower because it's about ten o'clock now and I'm, I've got work in the morning. So Three hours of training today. I to go home and eat. A long shift at work and I've just got to go to sleep and play some FIFA. <laughs> also, I have to shout out to my boy Craig for making this time for me today. Appreciate it, peeps. And don't forget to subscribe to the Craig Way. I'll see you next time. Cheese. This is one shot interview. Bye bye. Cheese.